600 watt meter and that thing at uh, some guy's garage. The space tail. Didn't know what it was. Well, folks, this is the Chameleon Magnetic Loop uh, something. I can't remember the numbers. I'll have to put it in as annotations, but I cannot remember something about it. It's advertised as a portable or backpack HF loop. Now, as you can see, this does 60 meters up to 10 meters. That's actually like almost CB range right there, but uh, works great. Incredibly good. Surprised at how well this thing actually works. Uh, okay, what it's got, it's got two aluminum elements here that come apart. They unbolt. Up there they just bolt together. And then down here there's another bolt on. This is just a big variable capacitor inside there. You tune it by using your knob here, obviously. I'm in the B slide. So I'm going from uh, 40 meters to uh, 10 meters on this side if you want to go from the low side of 40 meters down to 60 meters you do that that's really it i don't play around on 60 i don't i don't do that uh just because i i don't know i don't really care for the digital stuff don't mean i won't someday but right now i don't <clears throat> uh yeah so it's uh these elements come off and you can see there's a uh, PL259 on each side. That's for, there's LMR400 coax just like this. There's two sections of it. You can have one loop that goes all the way around, or they send a barrel coupling so you can put two pieces together so it's a double loop. And that has to do with efficiency and uh, just, you know, whatever, depending on your conditions and your location, your elevation, etc., etc. And it's small enough that you could put everything in a backpack. Like I said, it actually came with a bag that's you can't put these elements in it, and you can barely get the coax and the capacitor and the uprights. And there's the F loop, of course, that's where all the magic happens. Now, this does not touch right there, that's not touching the outer element. That's where all the weird magic stuff happens. And actually, looking at it, it looks like it's off center just a touch. I don't know if I need to. Take him over just a little bit, or whatever. And it came with two of the smaller loops. I don't really know why. And on the back of the... the I think that's what they're calling the F loop. I'm not really sure. I don't know. I've, I've only used this a few times. That's where you tie your coax in that goes to your rig, or to your radio, whatever. And I'm using the ICOM 718. Uh, and barefoot, which means I don't have an amplifier on it. I do have a tuner that I'm using. Uh, the tuner is pretty much... Uh, you, you need a tuner with well you need a tuner with almost anything unless you're super awesome at making antennas which I like making antennas but I'm by far no expert uh, I've made several antennas but this one this is some wizard stuff here how this happens this is like magic Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter stuff how, how, how this thing works it, it's so simple but it, it works so good and I've heard mis, uh, mixed things about it that they don't work that they're junk don't waste your money it is a lot of money to buy one of these this is about five hundred dollars and i've heard people say they work awesome from my experience a couple times that i've used it it works awesome and you can see i'm in a valley I'd kind of open up down that way but i got a valley to the north west it's pretty kind of clear i actually uh see what i hit wisconsin the other day wisconsin Minnesota. No, Wisconsin. It was Wisconsin. And uh, to my south, there's where the hill starts to go up. Uh, I had it rotated 90 degrees, and I hit Florida. So that was that was pretty cool. That's barefoot at 100 watts. Now, I've got out farther with dipoles up about 30, 40 feet. Dipoles do work better. I can say that. The ones that I've had, at least, they work better. Uh, but this thing is so small and you don't have to have anything. It's on a camera tripod, which isn't very stable. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know, it, it, like a strong gust of wind, if it caught it, it would knock it over. Now they do sell a stand with this. Chameleon does some sort of stand, but I looked at it and it looks almost identical to my tripod. So that's, uh, 
for what it's worth, I don't really care. There are some mounting holes under there. There's two that are tapped and two that aren't. Well, I guess right there you can see you can, you can actually bolt this down to something. And I think it does, there's another mount that you can clamp onto something. But I don't remember what that one looked like. But I like the idea of it being portable. I could fold everything up, obviously without the aluminum elements. And uh, if they're in a backpack, or in the bag that it comes with, and then just backpack the, the radio and a power supply of some sort, a battery or whatever, and a solar panel. And that would, uh, that would do the trick. It's all collapsible. It doesn't weigh hardly anything. All the weights right here in the capacitor, the variable doohickey. But yeah, man, it's, uh, it's a cool thing. Would I recommend it? Um, I don't know. I'm still on the fence about that. I'm glad I, I got it. Would I buy it again? Yeah, I would. Uh, but I haven't really had it that long. I've only had it for a couple of months, really. So I don't know what the conditions are going to be like in December, if I try it then versus uh, March, you know, and then June and all that and try that out. And so my experience so far, the dipole works better, but this thing works very well. Okay, so instead of doing the annotations, I just thought I'd show you the manual. There's the uh, uh, CHAF Loop 2.0 and then the 2.0 Plus. And Made in America, right there, Chameleon. Uh, this is, there's three different configurations. If I can get it open, I'll show you. That's what it looks like when you when you break it all the way down without the aluminum elements. That is a standard single loop. And using the, what is that? The C, is that called the F loop? Is that what that is? I can't remember. C, it's a coupling loop. That's what they're calling it. Coupling loop. <clears throat> um, no, there's... Okay, here's the uh, the difference with the high efficiency is what I'm using. Okay, and there's the ranges you can go with it with the high efficiency. That's the aluminum, uh, the double. Those are your frequency ranges, A position and B position, and there's A and B like I showed you a minute ago, I think. But they're standard double and then high efficiency. Uh, uh, that's the double right there. There's two loops. It goes around and hooks on the other side. And that's the high efficiency, the one that I, I've been using primarily. Uh, just aluminum bolts into the saw. You don't have to use the PL259s on that place. But that's uh, pretty much it. And there's your, all that magic stuff right there. Just, uh, I actually didn't know that you direct it this way. I thought it was directed this way. Okay. That might explain some stuff. So, cool. I was like 90 degrees off and I still hit Florida from Ohio. That that kind of makes some sense. But yeah, they're around 500 bucks. Um, if you want, okay, right there. That just shows you the whole band capabilities. I don't really want to mess with all that other stuff. I I just like the good phone bands, and I don't do 160, so yeah, that's another good phone band. But anyway, that is that. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one.